Note, this video is not made for children. It includes violence, depictions of rail accidents, and a train being really goofy. In short, this video isn't made for fucking kids. Enjoy. Reneus had experienced an injector failure and was subject to repair at Coven's Gate Works. The railway felt lonely without Reneus, and in the meantime, Scarlowy decided to tell tales of the old days when Reneus was the savior of the railway. Even with the weight of the farmer sheep, the van's brakes, and the full load of passengers, Reneus made it to the junction just in time to meet Henry Strain and save Christmas for everyone. Everyone thought this a great story, especially Bertram. That act of self-sacrifice for the passengers, human and not, was especially courageous. To save Christmas all on his own, that takes perseverance, character, and overall being a wonderful engine. I too would love to save Christmas, and show everyone how grand I am. Well, who knows, Bertram, you may get your chance one day. Now, let's get some rest. Of course, Scarlowy didn't really mean this. Everyone knew that Bertram, whilst extravagant and extroverted, was never a warrior or a savior, but an engine like the rest. Still, he had his wishes. The next day, Christmas Eve had come, and Reneus was back in action. Nobody was more excited about it than Bertram. Good tidings, my dear Reneus. How have you been? Is your injector mended? Are you feeling alright? Do they do a good job? Are your joints stiff? <laughs> I'm fine, Bertram. Thank you for asking. I have a passenger train to take now. I'll be off. Oh, how wonderful! The passengers would love that! I have a train to take up to the quarry myself. We can chat along the way. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? On their journey to the top station, Bertram told Reneus of Scarlowy's tales. Is it true that you pulled a full contest of carriages, two trucks of sheep, all while your brake fan was acting up? Why, yes. You know, I can't let the passengers down and all that. How extraordinarily brave! And while saving Christmas in the process, oh, how thrilling! I, too, would one day love to be as brave as you. You're an example to us all, and we're lucky to have you as our companion. Eventually, Reneus reached the top station, and Bertram made it to the quarry. Then, he had an idea. Reneus is due to pick up Snape. If I can demonstrate my bravery and save Christmas, oh, what a sight! He will be so proud of me! It will be spectacular! Isn't Bertram at the quarry right now? It's oddly quiet. Something must be wrong. Oh dear lord, you've got to be kidding me! Good to see you once again, my good chap! Bertram, what in the Queen's name are you doing up there? Shaving Christmas! How does it relate to Christmas in the slightest? Then, it happened. The winch that operates the incline wasn't built to hold the weight of an engine. With all the strain Bertram had put on it, the cable snapped! Whoa, whoa! This is not meant to be happening, Reyes, my friend! Look out! Oh no! Oh, lordy lord. What was your plan going into that? <sighs> After Scarlowy told us tales of your bravery and how you saved Christmas, I wanted to do such fine acts myself. But all I did is make a fool of me. Bertram, you have to understand that being brave isn't about doing daring things and living to tell the tale. It's about being placed in scary situations, naturally, and working through them. Now, let's, let's get you out of this mess. It took some time to get Bertram out of the snow, and by the time they got home, it was dark. Bertram broke the silence. I'm really quite sorry about all this. I let my self-importance get the better of me. That's all right. Be thankful you're home. Christmas is about being a family after all, not bravery. Merry Christmas, Bertram. Merry Christmas, Reneus. 